Hey, what's going on guys? It's Forza Dave here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Halo 5 Forge. Now, this came out for PC about two weeks ago now. And I've been having a lot of fun with it. If you guys don't know what it is, it's essentially Halo 5 Guardians, which was originally only on Xbox. Um, it's that game, but it includes no matchmaking or progression. It's just all the custom game content, um, which is still really awesome. You can get a lot out of this game, and they're bringing a server browser to it very soon. Um, it, it's, looking, it's looking up for this game. I think it's going to be really, really good. But the problem with it right now is, of course, there isn't a server browser at all, so it's really hard to find games um, unless you use kind of external website or something. And also, there's a lot of optimization problems. It seems like they didn't... Uh, think too much when they were optimizing this game because there is a lot of stuff wrong with it um, The FPS is capped at 60 which for some people it, I mean not to be like a PC master race guy But maybe people who play consoles are, are like 60 FPS is fine But for us guys on PC we want higher than 60 FPS uh, especially when you've got something like a 144 Hertz monitor 60 locking at 60 FPS is just horrible. Uh, there's no field of view uh slider or like number you can set so we're stuck at like 60 or I don't know what FOV we're at um, but it's fairly low and it gives a lot of people motion sickness and also the thing which I'm going to mention today is the mouse now the mouse does feel pretty kind of horrid um, but for me I have done some little adjustments to it to fix it a little bit so let's jump in and I'll show you what I've done to help the mouse feel less sluggish uh, so you can actually get better aim when you're using a keyboard and mouse. Unfortunately for this, you are going to need a controller, an Xbox controller, anything that uses X input, um, because we need to get to the controller settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my controller, which will connect it in. Uh, and then we're going to go to the start menu. We're going to go down to settings. And here, this controller um, option won't be uh, highlighted. You won't be able to highlight it if you don't have a controller connected. So maybe there's a way you can kind of get a workaround for this, but I don't know one. If you've got a controller, plug it in. Head into the controller settings, and there'll be a bunch of settings in here that you can mess around with. Now, um, for some reason, the mouse kind of sensitivity settings do draw a bit from these settings in here, which is kind of dumb. I don't really know why, but uh, we'll... We'll have a look through and see what we can change here. So the first thing you want to change is the look sensitivity. You want to turn this all the way up to 10, both vertical and horizontal. Uh, the next thing you want to do is turn the look acceleration down. So this is actually going to translate to mouse acceleration, which is something we don't want. I don't think you can fully get rid of it, of course, because for some reason they didn't put it in the game. Um, but turning it down to 1 will reduce it as much as we can get it. Um, what is auto stabilize? Uh, not something that we need to worry about. And the last thing, and this is the biggest thing, is to turn down the dead zone. So what a dead zone is uh, for a controller is uh, the kind of zone around the center of the stick um, with which kind of moving the stick into that zone won't do anything. So for certain controllers which have uh, the sticks that can move just a little bit, they're a little bit old like mine, um, it will stop you from accidentally moving left or right at times you don't want to but we're going to turn that down because we're not using a controller we're using a mouse so turn these onto zero percent and that's all the settings so zero percent on these two one on the look acceleration and ten on these uh, and then the last thing you're going to want to do i can actually unplug the controller now uh, which will say yep control disconnected i know um is we want to go into mouse and keyboard settings and just turn down the look sensitivity because turning it up in the controller settings will have uh, made it really high. So I've had to turn mine down to kind of stabilize it. And uh, that's pretty much it. There's actually a couple of other little things. You want to make sure you've got raw inputs on here and mouse smoothing off. Just uh, And actually you can turn off the mouse acceleration here. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't, it doesn't completely work through. I, th I think turning off the controller acceleration or at least turning it down will, does make an effect a decent change as well uh, and that'll leave you with a much nicer feeling mouse now unfortunately I'm using the game DVR which is included with Windows 10 to record this because other recording softwares don't seem to work with it at the moment hopefully we can find a workaround for that at some point I'm not able to use my OBS software but for you guys who are playing make sure the game DVR is turned off now to make to get to turn this off you simply open up the Xbox app on Windows 10 uh, go into settings then game DVR and make sure the slider is set to off I'll be turning it off after this video anyway guys that is how we can optimize our mouse to feel a little bit better um so we can start doing cool stuff like this and get some cool snipes and 
just get our aim better and have more fun with this game because it is really good. I don't want to slate this game. It's optimized horribly, but it's Halo at the end of the day, and I'm a huge Halo fanboy from when I used to play on the Xbox. So thank you, 343, for bringing us Halo on PC. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Hopefully this has been uh, informative and helped you out a bit, and uh, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.